another great day with Brian and Tracy. And Parmalee right there. Going to love you. Hey, it's going to be a nice looking day across the area for a while. Then we have a 60% chance of rain moving in. Uh, so take the umbrella with you just in case. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, if your idea of spending quality time outside is walking 100 feet out to the Starbucks and back, we're <laughs> <laughs> walking across the parking lot to your car. Um, well, th- there's, this is a way that you can get revived every day. And this new poll says the average American needs to spend 67 minutes outside every day in order to feel refreshed. So, so that would be like walking four miles to Starbucks. Pretty much, yeah. So but there you necessary go. though, as long as it's not too hot outside. That's the only uh, thing for some yeah. of us. Yeah, it, it's uh, it'd be tough to get that 67 minutes in all at the same time. What, what if you spread it out over, like, say, eight hours? Yeah, like that shouldn't be so hard. If okay. you do like a half hour you have in to the run morning, outside. half hour in the evening. Sure. Yep, that could do it. Yeah. All right, but you'll definitely feel refreshed. Two out of three people say just being outside will relax them and put them in a better mood. So what you do is you download the all-new KSAM mobile app. There you go. And put it on your uh, phone and then stick the earbuds in and get outside and take a walk. That's right. And you got crystal clear music wherever you go. It doesn't matter if you're in this city or another or another state. Or out in the park. Or out in the park. You'll feel refreshed. <laughs> Megan Maroney, I'm not pretty here on 101.7 Key Sam as we talk a little bit about some McDonald's. If you're still sitting there waiting in line like everybody else to go get your breakfast egg McMuffin and whatever else you could think of on the menu, I got some good news for you. AI might be able to write better and draw better than most humans. I can say that for me, at least on the drawing side. I feel like I'm a good writer, but... At least we're still better at asking, do you want fries with that? McDonald's is ditching their new AI ordering system. They've been testing at drive-thrus for the past mm, few years or so. The plan was to expand it, but now that's not happening. At least not yet. And not with the AI that they built with IBM. Apparently, TikTokers, of all people, have documented some of the issues it's had, like when it tried to add bacon to a guy's ice cream cone. Cause, sure. McDonald's announced the AI systems will be turned off at all the restaurants testing it by the end of next month. So does this mean that the humans won? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> we're, we're at least surviving in an AI-less world just a little bit longer. Apparently, a statement was made yesterday. McDonald's saying that they're now planning to explore voice ordering solutions more broadly, adding that they still see a tremendous opportunity to use AI going forward, unfortunately. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. I feel like eventually it's going to happen, but yeah, if we can hold off as long as possible, fantastic. And please, if I ever go to McDonald's, don't put bacon in my ice cream. Heartland by George Strait is part of your 90s at noon here on 101.7 KSIM. So... And this one kind of hits home for me. It's a little insult, if you will, but we all know what procrastination means. It's the reason why all of you are probably caught up on NCIS right now. But apparently there is a lesser known term that has started to make waves recently. Have you ever heard of the opposite of procrastination? Pre-crastination. Apparently it's the exact opposite, which sounds like it'd be a good thing, but it probably isn't. Precrastinating is when you do things as early as possible to get them out of the way so you won't have to stress. That's what I try to do because Lord knows if I don't do it early enough, it's not going to get done late enough. So apparently experts are saying, though, that overdoing it can be stressful in its own way. For example, you might stress yourself out trying to get something done when you don't really have the time or you could lose sleep to give yourself more free time later. But then you end up filling that free time with even more work. So it doesn't really do anything. Doesn't mean you can't knock things off your to-do list to get them out of the way. Just try not to overdo it. Do it kind of in, in, in phases. Think of pre and procrastinating as the extremes. The healthiest place would be somewhere eh, right about the middle, I would say. Apparently... Speaking of procrastination, a new study has found that being more optimistic might actually help you avoid procrastinating altogether. People who are pessimistic about the future tend to procrastinate a lot more. I especially 
with that last team infield called out. But Garth and Ronnie and Rodeo Man on your hometown radio station, 101.7 KSM. Good afternoon. I'm Big Len Edwards. Your forecast is coming up in just a little bit. So I, if, if you're like me, I get sick of trying to keep up with all the different latest slang that's out there. Uh, so how about if you use these words instead? Okay, now Reader's Digest came up with a list of old-timey slang terms that we honestly ought to bring back. And here are just a few for you to use in your day-to-day life, right? Uh, how about this? Guggle mug, or excuse me, giggle mug. G-I-G-G-L-E mug. Someone who smiles too much or constantly has a grin on their face. Uh, let's see here. Number two, sauce box. Yeah, the term for your mouth. Like, I'm sick of listening to you. Shut your sauce box. Uh, how about this one? Arf, arf, and arf. Arf, arf, and arf. An old British term for a drunk person. Like, don't give him another beer. He's already arf, arf, and arf. <laughs> okay. Um, how about this? Bumble shook. Bumble shook. C-H-O-O-K. Someone who's greedy and pompous. It's the name, actually, of a character in Great Expectations. Uncle Bumble shook. And number five, gas pipes, a term for someone's legs when their pants are way too tight. Look at that hipster in those gas pipes.